Hey, welcome everybody. This is uh, Peter Lander from Battlefield Sports. Um, today I'm going to talk about how you use Swayzo software and um, pretty much what you need to install it, how to run it, what does it do, you know, why is it cool, all that sort of stuff. So let me let me start. So after you um, download from the Battlefield Sports University, you'll have a folder um, here. We, we will have these files in it. This is the some background image, for example. That's for the scoreboard, the leaderboard. Um, the A and Team B icons are Bravo Team and Alpha Team. We have a database, which is an access database. Um, we have a user guide here. This is the Swayzo for Clan Wars user guide. So well worth reading because that actually has a pretty good explanation of um, all the things you need to know, um, including installation and you know what to do and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I'm just going to move first thing. There's a thing here, Swiss TT, because actually Swayzo uses a what's called a Swiss based system for running um, clan wars. Uh, I really like the Swiss system, I'm gonna talk a bit more about that shortly, but when you up click it, or, or you can create a shortcut to that if you want on your, put on your desktop, go open up the database, in case swayzo.db, and then open, all right, and then, and then swayzo open up, and um, it will look like this, right, at the first page, organization, like you can fill some information in here about your company or you know we call Battlefield Live obviously and my code name's Plan so there we are we've got Plan but down here we've got um, like number of battlefields so this is how many simultaneous battlefields you're going to use for your clan wars uh, be it one two three four or however many right you 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 want um, generally you've got up to four because the satire system supports up to four battles um, in the same general region so we can come over here to the clan war tab um, and we can create a new clan war. So there's a little plus symbol that like adds, adds a new record, you know, so we can plus that and I can type, you know, type it in here. Let's let's type in a clan war name. So right, it's our um, demo clan war. And uh, I'll put my normal name here, Peter Lander. Right, and then we, has a start and end date. Um, so basically when you're looking at this, this later on the scoreboard and the drawboard, it's going to be looking for the most recent event. So the dates are important, right? We'll pick up whatever's the latest. Um, we have a Swiss system. The first round of which clan plays which clan, there's a couple of ways to do this. The first round could be completely random. They can play a random opponent uh, or opposition clan, or it can be... Uh, effectively uh, graded based on the rating you place the clan and I'll talk a bit more about ratings later but essentially if you go the other, take this option off it's going to put the best clans playing the worst clans in the first round uh, and that I actually found works comes out with a better overall draw so that's that's possible um, the generate umpires up here that if you want to have one of the clans who's not playing actually umpiring and have the system work out who's umpiring or you just check that um, if you've got staff running keep that unchecked um, number of games so each round what's it made up of you know is you just going to play the one game against each other and then that's that's a result um, if you're running domination it's often worth running two um, because they should have it go from each end and then you work out the total time they're in control to work out the, who won that particular round and here's our scoring system uh, Scoring means that we're actually entering individual scores rather than just win-loss. And the scores could be uh, who won the most number of games, that's who the winner is for that, of that round, for that, um, or it could be the total points. And total points is really applicable, especially when running a domination with time. So I'm just going to save that with a tick. All right, and then I go over to the um, Event Clans tab. And now this is where I actually add clans to this clan ball. So which clans are playing? And here's a list of clans I've already created in our database. We can create more. Just got whip up here, and we, you know, we add a new clan. Uh, you don't need to put the ID. A rating is, as I was talking about, it's really how good they are. The higher the rating, the better they are. So you know, um, let's say this is pretty thousands, is probably pretty normal. You don't need the first name. You don't want to. And this is my um, super clan, maybe, um, and. They might be a class two. If you're going to do it, sometimes in a tournament you might give points for the best performing clan in each class. So you might have a class three or something that might be beginners. Class two might be people clans have played before but not very experienced, and class one might be your best, you know, national champions. 
Um, and so I've got Super Clan now it's here. So if I want to add Super Clan to this clan, we'll just double click, right, and uh, puts them over here. And notice this checkbox marks them as here, so that it says they're here. Because it's possible that clans might be in the event, but they're not currently here, so they shouldn't be drawn in the next round. So I add some, some mysterious soldiers and the gun runners and seven Def and the Amazons and the hammers could play right and maybe the roughnecks but the roughnecks are not here yet so we'll just double click on that save it so their mark is not here so now we go over and generate a round so the first round I create a new round and I generate it so this is going to generate a draw and it's basically saying here that the mysterious soldiers are going to be drawn against the gun runners first up the seven Def are going to play hammers super clan is going to play the Amazons right and there's no buys the reason there's no buys, even though there were seven clans, there's um, one's not here. So if there were seven, that would have been a buy. And a buy counts as a win in Swayzo. Um, so they can go and play, and we can enter the results here. We can get a drop down and go, well, one nil, that would be Mysterious Soldiers beats Gunrunners. Right, you know, so, um, but otherwise I could double click in here and actually add in, uh, this is best of two games. Um, so, Game one, let's create a game and let's enter times. So we know that in this case, seven depth held the medic domination box for five minutes and say 10 seconds in the first game and the hammers had it for four minutes. And you know, let's say again, 13 minutes update. So here we are, save that. And the second game, um, this time, let's get in here and the, oh, yep. We might have had, uh, there's three minutes and 10 seconds versus we'll leave that, I'll update that. All right, and then calculate the winner. And the thing that's calculated the winner here, it's gone, oh, one nil, so, and here's the point. So actually a total time for the hammers was 506 seconds and 500 seconds for that. So when I exit that out, um, it's gonna record the winner that win there for the hammers, all right, so I'll just save that. So we should have, before we do a second round, we should make sure there was results in for everybody. So just put that in there. All right, and um, there we are. So then we create a new round, and that's round two. Now this, what happens here, this is the key to Swayzo, the Swiss system, is that from the second round onwards, it tries to, the computer tries to draw opposition clans that have the same number of wins together. So losers play losers, winner play winners, basically. And um, the result is over multiple rounds that clans get to play other clans that are closer and closer in standard. And the better clans start to play each other as the rounds go on. It, it requires the same number of rounds as a knockout to get an absolute winner. But if you want a second and third place, you need you run it often as uh, another round or two, right? Um, so if you, you know, if you've got um, you know, eight clans, well this is not very many anyway, so it's not going to take very long, but in, for, in, in a few, few rounds you're going to get an absolute winner, but you might want to run four rounds to get a second spot. So anyway, I'm going to generate now uh, the second round, click on the generate comment, and um, here, also I can print uh, score sheets, so if I print, click on the print button here. Yep, and it's going to come up. I'll go preview just to show it on the screen so I won't look at this. Right, so it says Swayzo score sheet, and it's put the you know, hammers versus the super clan. That was a battle for live events, so that's up there uh, when it was printed. Also, the battlefield, it's on the Valley of Death in this particular case. Um, that's just what I called it. And you can see there's actually two per page. Um, and in here, the, whoever's out in the field, they can write in the, the times. And then you enter that back in if you want and who the umpire is and the winning signature you usually get the captain to sign that uh, verify that that actually was the score so that's that's a good system to use so you can one of the great things about Swayzo actually is the fact that you can print in big batch all the score sheets next round really quickly right that's what it, that that was the main thing as you got me started writing it uh versus using some of the other systems around it was like oh this is this is a lot easier for running tournaments um so we can have a look at the results so far, and uh, we've had one win for the Hammers, one for Mysterious Souls, one for Super Clean, right? So we can filter this um, by uh, unfiltered, um, or by class, we're into other classes, or by rating limit. So we might want to be looking for the best clans, you know, under a thousand. So rating limit, you know, go show. So, so 
Um, well, obviously the Hammers have only got a rating of 900, not very good, but uh, and they're on one win, and so Super Clans, it's, it's a thousand and under how they, they work it in tournaments. Uh, right, so that that's there. Um, you can have a look at the rate, the clans in rating order in the event. And over here I set the battlefields, and at the moment I've got two battlefields available. Uh, the Valley of Death and Domination Hill. I've am Ambush Alley is marked as not available, could be used for something else, not available. And I haven't put any names for these, so they would just be Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 5 uh, on the scoreboard, the leaderboard, and on the drawboard, which we're going to look at later. So, alright, so um, that's. Now, you can actually run this for different sports, that's what the different sports are. Um, but, you know, it's primarily designed for running uh, Battlefield Live. Uh, clan war, so to speak.